Facebook's virtual reality headset, the Oculus Rift, is finally here, and we've got one right here. We've been using it pretty seriously for about a week. It's good, it's bad, it's all of these things, and so much more. We've got a bunch of impressions on the Oculus Rift for you right now. Let me start with it's really easy to wear. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't get in the way. It does mess up my fragile, thin hair. Here's how easy it is to put on. Oh my God, it's on. And you can probably hear the music actually because I'm actually in a game right now. But when you put it on, it immediately knows that you've got the headset on because there's a sensor inside. And so it activates just like that the second you put your face on. Besides the feel of it on your head, there's some positives and negatives about the technical aspects of it. So visually, it's impressive. There is still uh, a bit of a, what is known as a screen door effect, which is to say that it feels like you were standing right up on a screen door. And it's essentially just the effect of seeing some of the pixels. This headset costs $600, and even then it's still a, a factor. It's just something that's not gonna go away until we get even better screens with even higher resolutions. The headphones that are built in, these guys right here. The audio coming from them is not great. It's serviceable. You can plug in headphones directly into your computer and it will work. Don't worry about that. This is the Oculus camera. This is really important because this is how your headset is actually tracked, how it knows that you're moving your head back and forth like I'm doing right now. So this clicker is the Oculus remote. It acts as your basic guide for easily jumping around and when you initially put it on, you'll be entered into something called the Oculus Home, which is where you were able to select games, buy movies. Otherwise, setting up the Oculus Rift and using it is unbelievably user-friendly. Overall first impressions of the Oculus Rift are very positive. It's something that I think people who are excited about virtual reality and maybe even people who don't necessarily know what virtual reality is even yet will really enjoy. We've only just begun with virtual reality, so here's to the future.